Welcome back. We are back with the album from Baby Monster called Drip. We're here with the track called Woke Up in Tokyo from none other than the Japanese line Ruka and also Super Side of track, literally highly anticipated by me, which is quite interesting. When I read just the preview, I said this was my favorite preview on the album, right? And so many people said in the comments that people were hating on the track. When I went into that preview, because I'm pretty sure I was late to watching it or something, a lot of people didn't like this or thought it was a stupid track because they said A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like, bro, stop being childish. The shit still sounds good. I don't care if they say A, B, C, D, D or fucking frog, chicken, legs. I don't know. Whatever they say, I don't care. It depends on how it sounds. And it really sounds good to me. So beside for this track, let's see what people think about it. Let's go. A lot of people are hating the preview. I think it's going to be an amazing track. Like, come on. That shit sounds fire. With the twinkle, bro. Listen. A, B, C. Oh, don't you, you hear the deep fucking bass? Don't you hear that? Are you deaf? Listen to that. Listen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What you know and what we see. Ding dong, ding dong. I swear I'm saying King Kong. Head bounce like ping pong. We popping out it on. Ding dong, ding dong. I swear I'm saying King Kong. Oh, hi, y'all. Cause I must. I ready for this. Oh, hi, cause I must like greeting, like greet, like good morning or something i don't know but bro this whole intro is so hard if you don't like the intro check your ears i'm serious about that shit Apparently, her surname is genuinely kawaii. Like, her name is Ruka and her surname is kawaii. I thought she just said her name is Ruka Q because kawaii means cute in Japanese, right? But genuinely, her surname is kawaii. I mean, that's such a fucking cool surname to have, right? I think people don't understand that the whole point of why the song is so fire is the lyrics contradict the beat so much like the beat is hard hitting the rap is hard hitting but then the lyrics is like childish that's the whole fucking point of the track guys if you guys don't understand that then you won't enjoy the track of course that's what made the track so good to me it's like the lyrics is so stupid and funny at the same time the beat goes so hard The crazy part is I'm actually gonna be in Tokyo in two weeks. So this song is even better. Damn, did they just hit the Gamehameha, bruh? I woke up Damn, this beat goes so hard though. Damn. 
and of course the japanese was so hard like people some people i can see would not like this track but genuinely this one this is one of my favorites on the album i don't know where i'm gonna rate them yet because we have one more track to cover in a few minutes so i'll see you on the next one where i'll also let you guys know what's my rankings of the album so do stay tuned for that until the next one i'm out safe